This is a video tutorial that will teach you how to do the calculations of theoretical yield and the percent yield of uh, hydrate turning into anhydrous. So, <clears throat> in this question, we have copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate. After heating it, it turns into an anhydrous copper, sul copper 2 sulfate and release 5 uh, moles of water. The question says that we have <clears throat> 500 grams of this copper sulfate pentahydrate, the hydrate. So first of all, we need to calculate the theoretical yield, in me, which means using this equation, how is the how much mass or the maximum amount of mass of copper sulfate that can be obtained? So this is a mass to mass calculations, and the mole ratio that needs to be used here is the one mole of unknown over one mole of the known. So here's the mole ratio, 1 over 1. So now we start. 500 grams, I cannot immediately multiply it by the mole ratio. As, we all, as I always mention, this 500 grams must be turned into mole. And how do you change it to mole? You divide it by the molar mass of CuSO4. So let's make a small table in here and write the molar mass of CuSO4, 5H2O. <coughs> So it is equal to 63.5, the molar mass of copper, plus sulfur 32, plus uh, 4 times 16, which is 64, plus 5 multiplied by 18, because the molar mass of oxygen is 18. The answer is approximately 250 gram per mole. So beginning now, let's start. 500 grams divided by 250 multiplied by the mole ratio. Okay, if I stop here, I'll be calculating the mole, but I don't want the mole, I want the mass of CuSO4. So in order to get the mass using this formula, N equal mass over molar mass, I need to multiply by the molar mass of copper sulfate. And the molar mass of CuSO4 only, which is the anhydrous, it is 63 plus 32 plus 64. So it is 63.5 plus 32 plus 64, and the answer is 159.5, which is almost 160 gram per mole. So this must be multiplied by 160. And uh, the answer would be 320 grams of copper sulfate. Now, if we continue reading the question, it says also calculate the percent yield of this reaction. If the actual mass, which is the actual yield of the anhydrous is a 300 grams. So in real, when they did this experiment, they didn't obtain 320 grams. They just obtained simply 300 grams. What would be the percent yield? So as always, the percent yield is the actual yield over the theoretical yield multiplied by 100. So it is 300 divided by 320 multiplied by 100. And the answer is 93.75%.